you're by yourself, I'm gonna show you how you can still use off-camera flash to create these dramatic portraits. We're gonna do it in less than five minutes. My name is Pai. I've been fortunate to create multiple successful companies in the photography space. I'm a photographer, but even more so, I would say I'm an educator and frameworks person. My specialty, making complex subjects easy for you to master, right here on Adorama TV. All right, friends, we got five minutes on the clock. Y'all know my name, you know what channel you're on, let's just go. So, walking introduction, this is my friend Sabrina. We will link her up so you guys can give her a follow. By the time this video comes out, she'll be in Hawaii performing in Hamilton, actually, which is kind of cool, so check that out. I'm gonna have her lean up against this wall. What I love about this scene and what we're talking about first is composition. We're gonna use the camp framework, okay? So composition first, and what I'm seeing here is these leading lines of the bricks that kind of lead into her. And then we have this nice kind of wall behind her that's kind of skin color that really makes for a nice background if we zoom in. You guys can use any camera you like. I have the Canon R5 here. Because we're working at a longer distance, I'm gonna use a 7200 lens. I'm gonna set this to f2.8 so we get a little bit of bokeh. 1 200 of a setting or 1 200 of a shutter. And then let's go ahead and do a natural light image first. I just want to show you the composition that I'm aiming at. This is what we get. So you can see that background that's kind of directly behind her. It creates this nice neutral pattern that I really dig. So we have composition. What we're going to go to next is ambient light. This is where I'm going to set the intention. What we say this was a dramatic portrait. So I'm going to go back to that same composition. I'm going to dial my ISO down and we're going to get this. And yes, it looks dark. It's supposed to. Now we know where we need to add our light, right? So we get to the M piece we're gonna modify. Probably my favorite thing about photography in recent years is just how simple and portable everything's gotten. So check this out. This is the Profoto Click Octa Softbox. Setting it up is this. And I'm pretty sure I could just snap it. Oh, look at that, okay. All you gotta do next is grab your light. I'm gonna use the A2. It's gonna magnetically attach. I'm done. Now we grab the light stand and let's go ahead and take our lens bag because you are working by yourself, so I'm gonna show you a little hack that I like to do. We need to figure out light positioning. I'm just gonna set this down and first work with the stand. One thing at a time, folks. I'm gonna have Sabrina look back to where the camera was so I can see where the angle is on the face because what I wanna do is set up for a Rembrandt light so I can just kind of line it up so I can see the other side of the cheek right here. I'm gonna go ahead and place the stand. Because our composition is tight, I can bring the stand close to her, which will allow that softbox to shine a little bit more. Okay. Okay, we've got this guy on. I'm gonna go ahead and put it down. A little trick here. Once you have a softbox onto a small stand, this is a small stand, it's not heavy duty. So as soon as we put an attachment up here, we need to weigh it down or have someone hold it. When I'm working by myself, my little trick is just to grab my lens bag and I'll stick it like right over one of these rungs. Now, I'm gonna say this, this is your warning, this is your disclaimer. This works when we have like mild three mile an hour winds right now. Don't try this with 10 mile an hour winds. It's gonna blow the stand over. This only works when you have okay weather. Okay, let's power this guy on. Okay, now notice that this thing is swiveling a bit. So I believe this guy was meant to be on a C stand or something. So if you do have it swiveling, I'm just gonna move it to this guy and we're gonna tighten that up. All right, let's go back to the camera. I'm gonna leave that there because I know where my composition kind of roughly is. Let's go ahead and just grab the remote, pop this on here and power it on. I believe the flash is around eight right now, which might be a bit high. Let's just take a shot. That's around one quarter power. And we'll see what we can do if we need to lower it. So I'm gonna go back to that same composition and boom. Okay, yeah, that's most definitely a little bit bright. So we're gonna dial it down about two, two and a half stops. Let's see here. And yes, that is much better. Now I have a couple options here. You'll notice that if I kind of get the right angle, I can get a cool little reflection of Sabrina right on this wall. Okay, so the final flash power is at five, which is basically 130 second power. This is a 100 watt second flash, but really anything with a small modifier like this is gonna give you the exact same results. So use what you got, follow the techniques. I'm basically ready to shoot. I've got this dialed in. We got our first image, it's looking good. 
and I freaking love that. Okay, so all we're gonna do now is make adjustments and notice that I can also kind of incorporate that reflection off the window or I can just cut it out entirely. What I'm gonna do is actually go down. We're gonna do a full length portrait right here. I love that, I'm gonna back it up even. Use a little bit more of the wall. I'm gonna now frame her against the kind of sidewalk that's dropping into the background. And let's get one more shot right here where I incorporate that reflection. Why don't we go in close for a shot too? What I love about these soft boxes, especially when you're working with them close, is that they create a really nice look. Our five minutes are up. So take a look at the final images that we created just using this simple four step process, lighting all by herself. And one thing that I wanna point out, once you have that light set up, shoot from different angles, move in, move further away. All of these shots were created with that light in the exact same position. So just because you got one shot, don't move to the next setup, keep shooting until you're done. That's it for me. If you guys enjoyed my style of education, be sure to check out our A to Z education inside of SR Line Premium. Basically everything you know from picking up your camera to running a full six or seven figure photography business. In the meantime, we're gonna link up all the gear that I use in the description of the video. We'll also link up Sabrina. You guys can give her a follow. She's gonna be performing in Hamilton in Hawaii as this goes up. So be sure to check that out as well. And I'll see you guys back here same time, same place on Adorama TV. And so I keep my job. Please like, subscribe, and uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.